Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake. We are in Chapter 8, Budding Bodyguard, where we have just met, properly, proper introductions, to Aerith. Uh, and before that, we took down the Airbuster boss, which holy, oh man, I hope that's one of the hardest bosses in the game, because I found that very tough. <laughs> we didn't die, we had some characters die, but we didn't fully game over, so that's something. And uh, then we fell down, smashed through into the church where Aerith was hanging out, growing some flowers. We saved her from a Shinra goon called Reno and made our escape over the rooftops and now she is in our party. With... is it just me or is the face... that was weird. The face texture is... Okay, no, maybe that was just me. It looked like the face texture hadn't loaded properly then for a moment. Anyway, uh, upgrade weapons. Oh man, <laughs> we've got a lot of upgrading to do for Aerith. Uh, Barrett has nine, so we can have a look at what he's got going on. What were we doing with Barrett? We've got all of his first slot. We haven't done anything, well, not much, in his second Got his attack power up there. Overcharge damage boost we could do. We could go for even more materia. HP, MP. Hmm. He is kind of our tank. Should we go with another 100 HP up? Although maybe because he, he has got the most materia slots when you keep adding on all these bonus ones. So maybe we should go for magic attack power? I don't know. I don't know. No, let's, um... Let's go for... Maybe defense four would be better. Let's go for that. Let's go for defense plus four. And then next time we'll probably go for max HP up on him, I think. We need six for that. Cool, cool. It'd be nice. We should we should finish getting proficiency on this, and then see about perhaps doing the take damage intended for other party members because he has got the most health by quite a long way. So that would be actually pretty helpful. It's just the lack of materia. But anyway, Aerith. I wish it would tell me her uh, surname again. Guard Stick. Ability Arcane Ward. A vintage and well cared for staff also happens to be eco-friendly. Arcane Ward. Conjure a ward. Attack spells cast within the ward will automatically be cast twice. Ooh. So we want to make her a uh, magic damage dealer for sure then. Oh man. For sure, for sure. Oh, hello, yeah. Oh man, her regular attack is fairly low, but the magic attack, 43, and then in her very first core, you can plus 12 that? And max eight, oh man, this is this is going to be good. Okay, we want max MP plus 8, absolutely. We're going to want to have as much MP as possible on her. And attack power plus 12, for sure. Then over here... Hmm. Probably a new materia slot. Oh god, it's plus it's 10 SP for her second list. I've just realized she doesn't actually have a Oh wait, her fir Oh right. Oh. I didn't her first core is 8 SP, then she doesn't seem to have a second core and it goes Straight to this one. It's weird, it's still called Subcore 1, but if you look in the top right, the middle one's like just not there and it goes straight to the third one. Hmm. So. Wonder how fragile she is. What on earth is Tempest damage? I have no idea. Hmm. If we had one more SP, I'd get all three of. Attack damage, Tempest damage, and Materia slot. Because I assume Tempest is going to be something that she does that is very good. But as it is... Because hmm. is attack damage... Attack damage is going to be separate from magic attack damage, isn't it? 
because they are always separated. Defense, magic defense, attack power, magic attack power. So when it says attack damage 5% boost, I assume that does not apply to her magic. Hmm. In that case, let us give her an extra materia. And then let's save the rest for now until we know what Tempest is, I guess. Cloud, we need 8-4, so we can't do anything with him. Then let's go in here. Focus Thrust ability is all good. Uh, was there anything we wanted to change? Not really, right? Our Materia, we've got Fire, we've got Cess, we've got Healing. Although, actually, now Tifa's out the party. We could give Aerith a healing one. Let's put Az on fire and elemental. We really need another elemental. Because that is, that is super nice to have. And we want to be leveling that up as much as possible. And then here, uh, let's go for... Hmm. I guess we should still have our assess, right? That sounds pretty good. Do we need any of these? What's the mesmeric armlet? It's got two slots instead of one. Minus 10 defense, plus 10 magic defense, and an extra materia. Eh. Titanium. Oh, titanium's a straight upgrade. Where have we got the titanium one from? Oh, get that on you, son. Uh, and then assess, okay, and then what will we put out? What else will we put on him then? Magic up, magic boost, increases your attack power. Hmm. That could be good. I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, the choices, the choices. I'm spending too long in the in the uh, menus. Let's give wind a go, shall we? Just for just just give it a try. Wrist guards. Is there anything else we want? Strength. No, that's fine. Okay, so Aerith. She's got the guard stick. Uh, mithril armlet, which gives her a lot of magic defense. Sure. Uh, then I guess you can have the bulletproof vest. Materia, you've got prayer, allows you to restore the party's HP with prey, so it's... Oh wow, okay, it's got five levels. Slight HP for the party, then modest, then moderate. I'd have thought modest and moderate would be the same, but sure. Then great, and then significant. So we want to keep that on her at all times, get that leveled up. Down here she's got an ice one and a refocus. Allows you to use the refocus limit break. Can only be used once per battle. But it doesn't tell me what it actually is. Which is interesting. And that's linked with ice. And that she comes with those. So I wonder... Hmm. It looks like it gives Cloud some kind of boost. Looking at the, looking at the video on the right there. Hmm. Prayer, Ice, and Refocus. So, I guess we'll also want to be giving her the MP up and Magic up. And then we don't have a third. Well, I guess we could put that one on because Barrett's not with us anymore. Okay. Okay. Got prayer, MP up, magic up. Ice. Okay, okay. I think that's going to be good. <laughs> I very much hope that's going to be good. Because I've spent a while in the menus. Who wants some? 
guarantee somebody wants some. Hedgehog pie. What? Assess? <laughs> I got your number. Weak to ice. Oh, perfect. Deal with that. Aerith's strengths. Aerith possesses both powerful offensive and support spells and is effective in multiple roles. Hold down square to deliver a continuous stream of magic attacks. Nice. These combo attacks can target multiple enemies over a wide area. So it's my turn? It's over. Cool. Someone looks like they're in their element. I look forward to trying her out more as we go on. We'll have a few very short battles, I'm sure. They seem to, when they introduce a new party member, they do a couple of really short battles to start getting you used to them a bit before they throw you into a much bigger <laughs> thing. No chest. Uh, Hello. Oh, well, this we. isn't good. <laughs> Here he comes! Aerith's unique ability. As Aerith, you can hold down triangle to focus your magical enemies, e enemies, energies, and release it to unleash Tempest, a powerful magical attack. You, the potency of Tempest depends on how much magical energy Aerith has stored up. Depending on the situation, you may want to store small amounts of energy and release spells in low-powered bursts, or bide your time and unleash a particularly devastating blast of magic. This one's for you. So we can look at him and. Okay. That'll do. Hmm. You'll see. That's that. So, wow, you don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. Uh. Okay. Oh, we can't use her Healy spell. Well, whatever. We'll use it in the next battle. Who's next? Who's next on my list of people to kill? Hello. More hedgehogs? Anywhere? Stations there. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> This is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Five hundred gil in there, nice. Okay. That was the inspection. Not debris. No. <laughs> not debris, just me. But you may not be so We're very sorry for the delay, but we're doing kind of moron would blow up a goddamn. Cloud waits for no man or woman. Kate Sith's theme. We've got all of that materia. Doke. Actually, do we want to buy some high potions? I guess we probably should. We have some money to burn. ourselves a cheeky refill. Very nice, very nice. And 
And uh, are we getting on the train? What is? What are we actually doing here? Or are we just going around the back? Can't go Would down there. Who's getting off the helicopter? Take us all clear. Is it just Road soldiers start. or? Go. Just soldiers. Fair Drive enough. Up. Are they hunting me? Oh no, who's this? Let's go. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Doesn't really then, matter to us. Let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. <laughs> That's okay, I love monsters. Ah, we are going this way. Nice. Avoid the Turk. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I feel like I could walk down this one fairly easily without a doing a sideways shuffle. Ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around. But a great place to lay low. Hello, Hello guys. Deal with that. I'll take care of them. Go on. Oh, hello. Okay. Good night. You'll see. Okay. That'll do. Uh, what ability? Soul Drain. A mission attack that absorbs MP. She really is the caster. Absorbs additional MP from staggered enemies. Tundra Ward. Attack spells cast within the ward. Cast twice. Restores a small amount of HP to all party members. Costs 2 ATB. Interesting. Okay. My turn. <laughs> oh, he's the only one left? Bye bye. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Mm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'll show you what I can do. One more shot. Huh. That was pretty dope. She just annihilated them. Which way? Uh, I don't know. It could be either. I guess let's try this way. I want to go the wrong way first, obviously, to Over here. find secrets and stuff. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this path we're on loops around too, so. Hmm. hmm. Wonder if we can move this. Hey, Po. Huh? I never let I go. Knew it. That was weird. Oh wait, this is a side thing? But well, that's our main objective. Hmm. Wait, there wasn't a chest in this corner, was there? No. Hum hum hum.
This goes all the way over this way. It feels like that was the side bit, and I chose wrong. Hopefully, we'll be able to double back there later. I assume we'll be going back to that gate, at which point I can just run back up a bit. Whoa, now. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. You'll see. Oh, come on. Fire Get your ready. fucking spell, love. That's that. Jesus. It must have been a new breed. How do you figure? Because they went for the stronger prey. Hmm. <laughs> Which way here? Oh god, so many so many split paths. I never know which one's the secret. I'm gonna assume this is a secret? Because it's got a chest? Caliginous bracelet. What is a collagenous bracelet when it's at home? Oh, it's got three. It's got way less defense, but it's two linked and a single. Huh. Interesting. But it is so much worse for defense. I think I'm good. Still interesting, though. Okay, so now we know what Tempest is. Let's take another look at her stuff. Mm. It seems like all her attacks are magic, though, because she doesn't even have a physical attack. Like, just pressing X is still spells. So I guess we should go for attack damage 5% boost. And then next time we'll get Tempest damage 5% boost. Sounds like a plan. Nice. I guess this is slightly quicker than going back across the top. Who's next? Who wants some? Clouds here to mess you all up. There, check it out. The heart of the slums. Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? Nah. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Sounds good. Hang on. I'm now thinking we're not actually going back here. God damn it. Go along the path and see if the gate will open from the other side. I really hope we double back to this thing, man. I'm a bit worried that we've completely missed that other area. A little bit worried. Because who knows, there might be like a summon materia down there or something. You never know what they're going to hide. There's been a couple of... Well, I guess the the one summon material hidden behind that fan and stuff. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Keep it together. Here goes. Good night. See you around. Nice. Clouds level 18. You know what that means? Back to the menus. <laughs> doop doop doop. 
What are we looking for? We are looking for... I guess... Hmm. Probably just a max HP up? Maybe magic attack power up? Let's go max HP up for now. Hooray, we managed to take less than fucking 20 years in a menu for once. That's good. That is what we call character development. Okay, so that's the way to go, I guess. But then... Oh, wait. No. Forward is the way to go. So what's back here? Is this... A... Oh, this is another secret. Never mind. Just a remedy? Okay. <laughs> Seemed like that was going to be something more exciting. Watch out, Aerith. <laughs> Meow. Anything up here? Just some boxes. Yeah. Antidote. Is this the gate? That's where we're supposed to go. Hang on then, what's up these stairs? The door is locked. There's a yellow materia there. God, what's it doing? Poisoning me? Yeesh. You don't like that. We don't like that at all. Hmm. I guess we should pray because we're a little damaged. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to it. Whoa! And the more we use prey, I guess, the more it'll level up, and then the better it'll become. And we definitely want it to be doing big old heals. Whenever possible. Wait, the door was back behind us. Hang on. Ah, this way? That door that was stuck. Maybe it opens from this side? Nice. Okay, so now we can go and check this other bit. Perfect. Phew. Easy. Oh, hi. Whoops. What? Why can't I use an ability? I have ATB. Oh, it's because I'm being eaten. I'll take care of them. That's that. Yikes. <laughs> that way is a dead end. They were doing some construction, but quit halfway. Oh, well, it's nice you tell me that now. If you'd told me that before, I'd have known it's the way to go first. <laughs> is that it? Really? Nothing more secret than that? That's kind of disappointing. All right, then. I'd have been absolutely screwing over that if I hadn't been able to come back and then to find out it's literally just a few boxes. Eh. Alright. <laughs> I wonder why this was like a secret side thing that this gate wouldn't open. Like, Oh, hello. Okay. 
Man, they really like going after Aerith, don't they? Not bad. Okay, so there's where we're supposed to go, so let's take a look over here. Oh, we need to... Is the gate not going to work or something? We have to push that box across and then land, drop down, land on it. But I'm not sure if this is secret or if the gate is going to fail to open when we try it. And it will say, we need to find something else. Let's try it and see. <laughs> Yep. What to do? That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. Heave ho. Wrong button. Hello? I'm pressing it. There we go. Okay, it automatically stops you, like, halfway through, I think. Because that's happened both times now that it... Automatically yeah, let's go, even though I don't let go of the, the button. Trick. Two out of two. I sense a pattern. Huh. Hello? Oh, that's weird. What? Why is it... Hmm. For that, I was holding right, and he got all—he got almost all the way across, and then he stopped moving. And then for that next one, I had to press up instead of right. And then for the last one, I had to press right again. Very strange. A few kinks still to iron out, but overall, it's pretty polished. You're welcome. I'm the best. Yes, we're home free. No uh, need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Uh. Oh. Getting paid right now because she said one date ought to do it. God damn it. So is this their date? Get our zoomy on through here. Should be able to relax a little now. See, you keep Don't saying that. The Turks. Ah. Doesn't make me feel relaxed. They come at us any time. Keep an eye out. Left or right? Left or right? Uh, wait. That just leads back to there? Oh, this was just a uh, shortcut? The station. Somewhere else you'd rather be? Oh, okay. We couldn't go that way because they were in the way. Right. So we went the long way. The scenic route. The sector five slums are right there. What are they watching? Hey! hey. Probably a broadcast telling everyone how terrible we are. Come on, Cloud. This way. I would have to assume. I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. As you can see, there's still a lot of work on the horizon. Isn't it obvious? Well, and other debris continue so to hinder to rescue the efforts. Fire. The fires appear I'm to have been you, mostly extinguished. Those foreign devils are trying to start another uh, war. Over there. So if we help catch That's the, the director of Shinra's we advanced weaponry division, isn't it? Uh, excuse me, ma'am, but hey, would you mind answering a few questions? Doom and gloom. Uh, but we're safe down here. She's gonna get fired. <laughs> <laughs> the reactor. 
There's no what reason kind of damage did it suffer assaults. in the explosion? Are we in so any danger? when are the trains going to start up again? Uh, Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! They just, uh, right, casually do that to actual reporters? Nice. Nice, very nice. That's gonna, that's surely gonna get the people on side if you are openly attacking the press. Oh, wait. We need to stand up and fight against any man. I can't decide where to go on. Oh, what timing? Mind lending me a hand? Face is really happening, huh? Gimme. Morgel. I'd love to, but no one else can get their food to taste quite like this. I'd love to, but also I wouldn't. <laughs>